I'm going to go to town on this bumper. I already started sand sanding this middle area right here. The 180, 180 grit. Because this is the one section that I did start modifying with filler to raise it up a little bit. To give it a little more higher peak. Uh, I got to sand this whole bumper down right now and just uh, take a look at see how it looks. So got to feather out this thing. It's not lining up with the fender for some reason. A little bit off on this side. I fixed this side already. So that's another thing I got to do. Still got to uh, smooth it out in here where the turn signals go. <sighs> kind of shaved it a little more down there because I wanted it more straight with this line. Seemed to kind of have a little bubble there. So straighten that out at the bottom. Sanded this a little bit right here, make it a little more straight there. Haven't really messed with the bottom spoiler yet. Got to work on this at the garage right now. Do the same thing on that side. Block this out a little bit more. And this is my original plug for my 2-3 season bumper, so that's why it looks you can see multiple layers of fiberglass and, and different colors of primer and paint especially in the middle I gotta take this off the car now I'm going to the garage because it's almost night time that's where I'm at guys this is the season one night rider bumper Alright guys, um, got this thing in the garage, working on this turn signals. So the way I made it is, you screw it into the glass, up here, okay, and that sits in there. Then you use your plexi covers, and you go in there just like that, nice and flush. And the way I made this turn signal fit in there, I had it fit right on this groove here, perfectly aligned with this. Kind of gives it support. And the way they, this mounts is you're going to use some uh, automotive uh, double-sided sticky tape. You're going to put it on both sides. You're going to go around the whole perimeter with the tape. And this is, and once it's on there, it's on there. It's going to be hard to take off. 3M makes some that you can get at AutoZone. And that's how it'll stick, and it, it'll never come off. And same thing on this side. Covers go on. I got to make this a little deeper, so uh, make some room for the tape. Because I know when the tape's in here, it's going to raise it up just a little bit more. So I got to make this indentation just a little more deeper. And that's it. Um, that's how it's going to install. Instead of having to use a bracket, you know, the original bracket and cut it out and try to get it to fit this thing will fit perfectly with the bumper the lights will fit in there perfect so it'll fit perfect with these uh covers on so just gotta finish it up got my turn signals screwed in to the back side of it so screw right there sides done so they're they're mounted on the nose And then you just get your flexi cover, and it goes right over it. I need to recut plexis because these ones aren't going to fit. Because I had to open it up a little wider, but that's how it's going to mount.